This video shows how to control a servo motor. This is a servo motor. Servo motors, unlike stepper motors, need accurate pulse width to ensure precision. There are DC motors that is this feedback mechanism to determine the exact position of the motor shaft. Now, unlike unlike stepper motors that you just run your negative positive and use um a combination of transistor be dilating pairs to control the direction clockwise or anti-clockwise servo motors uses pulse width modulation and in pulse width modulation to control a servo motor you need to send the pulses every 20 milliseconds depends on the manufacturer of the servo motor some 18.5 milliseconds some 17 milliseconds it varies so consult your data sheets so there are three types of pulses you send to control a servo motor you send a pulse of 1.5 that is the neutral position you send another pulse below anything less than 1.5 takes it anti-clockwise and anything greater than 1.5 to 2 takes it to the clockwise direction now in controlling the servo motor the work here is to accurately send the pulses to this servo motor so that you can determine the position per time to do that i'll be showing you the code later on in another video but in this one i just want to show you just want to make a demonstration of how servo motors can be controlled i intend to use this for a robotic arm this is how this system works this system has two, two microcontrollers, as you can see. This one serves as the master, this serves as the slave. The master here is going to have various buttons for controlling the direction of the servo motors. Now these actions will be transmitted via a wire to the slave. Now this slave will decode what this master is saying and send it to the servo motor. Later on, I intend to use this to um, design a wireless remote controlled robotic arm with 6 degrees of freedom. So what I want to do now is just to show how to control a servo motor via a wired means, not wireless for now. Okay? now if you look carefully don't mind this um it's a little bit rough i was in a hurry i just wanted to put something okay now there are two buttons here two buttons here they control the servo motor clockwise and anti-clockwise okay now what i do is that when you're transmitting using two PICs to communicate using RS232 the USAT universal synchronous asynchronous receive transmit mode of communication in PICs ensure that both of them are grounded they use the same ground rather okay now I will be using this servo motor to demonstrate this is how the system works when you power it on this flashes red as you can see and it changes to green to ensure stability that the system has booted after booting i press a button it is transmitted to this pic once this microcontroller receives it it blinks to show that it's receiving a data and the data is transmitted automatically to this so let's see how it works let me power it off everything is off here as you can see okay so let's power it up can you see that it's blinking it changes to green then back to red no action then this the slave system is also green then whenever i press any of these buttons it's going to control this servo motor let's see how it works watch this
this is a button did you see that wow did you see that see 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 the beauty about this is that i can change the position say for instance it's at this position i can accurately bring it back watch it's here i can take it back from that same position increase it there take it back take it like this you might be wondering why it is stopping it is stopping because servo motors has um plus or minus 90 degrees of rotation that is on hacked servo motors anyway a servo motor can be hacked to have 360 degrees of rotation and please stay tuned this is just part one of a series of videos that will be showing how to design a robotic arm with source code in design with um ccsc custom computer services c simulated with proteus thank you very much Okay, the purpose of this video was just to show us that servo motors can be controlled easily, especially for engineering students, hobbyists, and those wishing to just design something at home. Thank you very much, and stay tuned for the next episode.